Everybody, welcome to Monday Night Ignite. Uh, this is our business uh, section of the call. And we have an uh, amazing speaker today, Miss Stacy McQuaid. And she's from Alabama, which you're gonna know in a second because she's got a huge twang that goes along with everything else that she does. And I'm excited about this uh, community. I just got to meet Stacy personally. Uh, maybe two months ago at the Melissa retreat. And you know, when you first meet Stacy, oh man, I was gonna have a picture of a hot tub. I forgot, dang it. Um, <laughs> when you first meet Stacy, you're like, is this chick for real? Because she is like over the top and a little bit, you know, different than me, which everyone's good. And we're all, it's all good that we're all different and we all can do different things because I would not be able to bring a party like Stacy with a C can bring a party. So I remember she, we were getting ready to leave and she only knows two songs and it's a uh, celebrate and we are family just so you know. And if she knows anymore, she just learned them because that's all I heard for five days straight. It was like literally outrageous, even portable disco balls She's got one for her phone. Doesn't matter where you are. So we were harvesting, which is amazing. Um, Douglas fir, I believe it was then, but whatever. And I come up to the, the cat thing and she's doing the wood chips and everything. And she took off her rhinestone things that she has wrapped around her cowboy boots and put it on her hard hat, one of them. And I was like, this chick is for real. And then I really knew it was for real because she was very consistent with this. It was not a show. She, when we were getting ready to pack up, everyone's like gone or whatever. I was in my cabin trying to clean it up and we were right next to each other. She had the music blaring with the only two songs she knows. And then she was coming down from watering her plants and she, it took her like literally like 10 minutes to get down this little hill because she was dancing the whole way down. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I had such a pleasure of meeting someone that was so blue. She should be a Smurf. Uh, with that twang and with all her glitz and glamour and uh, bells and whistles, it was just refreshing to see that there's someone truly like this that is a real person that is sincerely, that is her. And so, you know, just growing up, she was just a little girl all the way. She probably never climbed a tree. I don't even know. And it's just amazing. And I just love her very much. And I'm not going to do all the introducing, but she is a crown diamond here in um, Alabama. And let me just say the name of your topic so I don't mess this up. Oh, I should have known already. Building a community, how to have fun and love on your team. Stay uh that's how to love on your team is what it is. Michelle, what could you say about your good friend? Oh, Stacy, I love Stacy McQuaid. I love how this community, we bring our, what God has gifted us. And she, like you, Stacy, I am like, I am not the party girl, but she makes you want to party. She makes you comfortable. She loves her people so well and truly like I'm, I'm over here ready to take notes because like this is part of my team building that I need to do a little bit better and somebody like this who does it so naturally um, is somebody that we all need to take notes from. So Stacy, I'm so excited that you're here and you're going to bring to us what you demonstrated. You're going to bring to everybody what you demonstrated for us um in Idaho and it was so much fun so take it away my sweet friend thank you all so much oh my gosh so okay so let's all just do a little dance just to start out because you know real good times and you laugh to do we gonna celebrate your party with you come on now and have a good time that's what we're gonna do tonight and i'm so excited to be here with y'all um a little nervous i'm not gonna lie i do not like speaking out but i do it because i always tell people i do hard things and so that's what one thing i want you to learn from me tonight if you say it long enough you will believe it because when people say hey can you do this i'll go sure and then i go and after i say that i go i because i can do hard things no matter what Okay, so I do have a quote um, from Gary. I wanted to start out, and it says, "We're the we are a people business, and we are a caring business. I want people to focus on the caring and the sharing of people, not focus on money. You may not know why you're here yet, but you feel it. You feel it because you're on this call tonight, because you feel a calling." At and I'm excited about you being here. 
like they said, I'm Stacy McQuaid and I'm from Alabama and you can probably tell from my, my accent um, from I'm from the South. And I'm going to share a few things with you, uh, a few stories. I'm going to go a little differently than maybe not all the topic of fun and everything tonight, because um, I do want to share a few different things with you. But I want to share a few stories um, about Gary and Mary with you. I want to share uh, a few books and some party ideas with you. Um, one I want to start off with is my family and I really got to know Gary and Mary. Um, they are friends of ours, even though Gary's not with us anymore. Um, my family got to know Gary and Mary really well starting in 2015. And I just want you to um, hear a little bit about their lives because um, I'm not, I'll say, a business partner with Mary, which I am, but me and Mary are friends. Um, we are, we have kids the same age. We did birthday parties together. Um, they invited us to Thanksgiving and to Christmas. And um, I remember the first time I went and Gary said, hey, can you bring like, um, it was pies, some apple pies and that he wanted a cherry pie. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to cook gluten-free, you know, all organic, you know, this, that, and other. I baked them. Well, I will tell you, I think that was for Thanksgiving. For Christmas, he had somebody else bake the pies. I said, well, maybe I didn't. They, so I took yams for Christmas. Um, it's just funny just to be around them and in their presence. Um, we snowmobiled together. Gary took us up the side of the mountain in a razor and he was going so fast and I was holding on to the back. And I said to Gary, I said, thank God you're not my husband because I sure would be talking to you right at the moment because I truly felt like we were going to fall off the side of the mountain. And um, Mary just said, I learned years ago not to say anything to him, just to like go with the flow because Gary's going to be Gary. And he was absolutely fearless. I will tell you this. Um, Gary took us out um, into a meadow to where we had um, just Christmas trees all around and he helped us cut down our first Christmas tree um, and take it back to our house and put it up and we had meals around the table. Uh, we spent the night in the lodge up in Tabiona with them and um, their kids and our kids were always there. And I remember the time that our daughter, Abby, was the, the last one to the table and she was the she was late for breakfast. And Gary said, well, Abby, since you're late for breakfast, I think I'm just going to go ahead and let you say the, the prayer for breakfast, too. And you should have seen my daughter's eyes. She was like, uh, what? Like me? I have to say the prayer. But I always remember sitting around every table that we would always grab hands and uh, Gary would pray over our, each and every meal that we had, which I absolutely loved. Um, I've had so many great memories with them. And I want you to know that they are real people. They are real people that, um, that, that have feelings. They have a sense of passion for what they're doing. Um, I will tell you this is, I was sitting around the table with Gary one time and I said, Gary, what was your, what is one of your favorite stories? And I truly thought that he was going to give me a, a story of oh, this woman took this and this happened and she's, you know, all better, this, that, and other. But it wasn't. It was about um, a, a single mom and he started tearing up on me and which got me crying because I will cry right along with the best of them. And he started crying. He said, there was a single mom that um, wanted Young Living, but she did not have the money to buy her starter kit. And one time she just leaped out on faith and said, you know what, I'm going to build this business so I can have, um, you know, food on the table for my family because I need something to work. And so she jumped out and um, took money out of her rent money that month and started her business. And he said, today she's a gold in this business and can take care of her family. And I know um, by me doing the things that I did in this business, I've helped her through uh, giving her a purpose and for abundance in her life. And now she's got control of her own life. And um, he was in tears. And that just brought me to tears too, because it's not only about the, the wellness side of things. Gary also wanted to make sure people found their purpose 
and they they had abundance in their life uh, to do whatever they were called to do. Because I th- I do believe, and um, I'll be talking about God a little bit because that's um, that's my faith. But um, in that, um, I just I just love it that Gary did not mind talking about God um, and always bringing him into it because he had. Um, he, he knows he has a mission and, um, I, the whole family is, it got the spirit of excellence, um, even down to the kids. I know the kids really well because they've spent many times with, um, our families, um, in our home when we were, when we lived in Utah, um, we've traveled a lot together and like I said, did birthday parties and everything. Um, and I want you to know that, um, I was talking to Jacob not too long ago, and I don't think you'd mind me um, talking about this, but I was with him and I, because Gary would always um, talk to me about homeschooling because he was, Jacob was homeschooled quite a bit um, when we were out in Utah. And um, Jacob did not like school. And I was like, you know what? I think all kids go through that. But Jacob really does not like school but he is going through college to get his, um, I think it's his MBA right at the moment. And I said, Jacob, why are you going to through school? I know you don't like it. And he goes, I'm doing it because I know if I don't get some form of education, then they're going to, people are going to come after me and young living because I don't have that. And so he's willing to step out and do the hard things um, and get the education that he needs to um, lead the way he needs for this company. And I really appreciate him stepping up and grabbing hold of the mission that his daddy was called to do and saying that I'm going to do it too. And he's going to do the hard things no matter what. Um, I love that about all the youngs um, because they've each picked up a piece of young living and are doing their part of what Gary's called them to be. I will say even um, all of us that went to the Melissa Harvest, like you could see it um, in Joseph that was there when you're around them, even the um, Chris, the, the cousins, like when you're around somebody that's in the young family, you can see a little piece of Gary that he's left behind, that he, they're all taking their part of their mission on board and doing it to excellence. And um, I'm excited about being with this company for sure. Um, another quote from Gary is, he says, the greatest crime in the world is not developing your potential. If God has given you the gift of leadership, don't waste it. Leadership is the art of leading others to deliberately create a result that wouldn't have happened otherwise. My belief, God has given us all the gift of leadership and he's called us to impact the world. So um, someone said this to me one time. They said, Stacy, they said, see yourself taller, better, a visionary, believe in in what um, you're doing be grace-filled, have a big smile, or you're missing the opportunity to move somebody forward. And that really hit me hard because I want my life to be a reflection to what God has called me to do. And I want to help people to move forward in this, in this life. If it's not through Young Living, but in their family life, in their, their sisterhood, everywhere, I want to help people move one step forward. Um, I think, I think that's who God has called us to do is to help people to move forward. And so she also said, if you, cause I'm an advertisement to be where I am, I'm a crown diamond in young living, nothing special about being crown diamond. I'm just like you. I have fears. I have, you know, things that I don't like to do, but I do them. I, I have all the feelings you have It's what we do with those feelings and how we show up is what's important for us. So there's two books that I really absolutely love. 
you want to um, take notes, this is one of them. It's Hung by the Tongue. It's by Francis Martin. And I absolutely love this book. My, my team knows I talk about this book quite a bit because in here it's um, on the back, it says success is yours. Victory and defeat are born in the mind. I love that because you are what you think. Okay. You, you have to have great thoughts because I tell people all the time, what are you thinking? If you have a bad thought, you've got to change your thoughts around. Um, let me see. I went, I've highlighted this thing. I've had it for years and years and years. Let me see. Let me just flip. Oh, look, here is a dishwasher detergent recipe from Young Living. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, okay. Victory and defeat begin in the mind. Do y'all believe that? I believe it because as a man thinketh, so is he, right? It says, um, I got here highlighted. Let me just see what it says. If you can put, uh, if you can put correct thoughts in your mind, get that thought to become an imagination and become a stronghold according to God's word, then that word will burn in your mind. It will come out of your mouth and you will direct your path according to the word of God. I absolutely love this book. It's filled full of stuff. Here's an here's another. Let me see what's here. The words of your mouth begin with think with thinking. Excuse me. Um, if you bless people, you will receive blessings in return. I tell my team that all the time. You have to be a blessing. We do all kind of giveaways throughout the month, and I say if you can give, give because it will be given back to you if you um, give to others. I truly believe that because um, in the very beginning, I had very little um, starting out, but I gave a ton of samples. I would tell people to swing by in the beginning. Like if I saw somebody on Facebook say, oh, I have, you know, a cough or a tickle. I'm going home from work. I'd always go swing by before you go home. I have something for you. And they would come by and I would make them a capsule up and give it to them and out the door they would go because I believe that what I have and I, I believe that it's going to work and it's going to work really good for them. Um, another book I absolutely love is The Soup Book. Um, it's by John Gordon and this book um, changed my thinking on how to um, get a team that was all in. Um, I will tell you that um, in that book I was reading and I went, <sighs> there is a key to having great soup and it's the love that you put into it. And so all I did was I turned around and said, okay, I just need to pour love into my team and help them to see what they have their hands on and that we can make a, a united team. And that's what I was wanting. I was looking for the, the people that were all in and that wanted to unite and lock arms with me and go, let's go forward and change the world together. So you start looking for your tribe. Um, a few key things that I did in the very beginning was that um, I looked around um, and somebody, I heard this from somebody within the um, diamond community. Um, some people would have retreats and if you, equipped so many families, um, they would go on, they would get a spot to go on this retreat. Um, and some, somebody said, no, I pick, I handpick who goes on my retreats um, because of the energy that uh, is pulled into that retreat. And I went, oh, that's what I want because like anybody can equip enough families to get accolades, to go on a trip or a retreat and all that kind of good stuff. For me, I wanted to um, find my tribe to the ones that were all in so we could um, be a, a cohesive team to where we can move forward together. And so um, I wanted to run with them and I wanted to run with them really hard. So um, on my first retreat, I think it was back in 2018, um, I had probably about 18 leaders around there. And I let me back up even before that. Um, before I even started this, me and um, I saw Jackie on here just a few minutes ago. Um, 
we did a silvers in the sand. We, I think we were barely silvers or gold. I don't know where we were, but we pulled people together. Did we know what we were doing? Heck no, we did not know what we were doing, but we knew we needed to get our people together. It's all about getting your people together. Um, so y'all are like glue because we have got a sisterhood like there's no other like we pray for each other we know what's going on in each other's lives um we know when people need help we know when they need encouragement we know when to cheer them on because of the things that they've got going on in their life it's exciting to have a tribe that runs with you and so um Back in 2018, um, I'm going to jump to where I had those 18 leaders sitting in front of me, and um, I got I picked them from my group that my Oily Facebook group, because um, I say if you're going to step up and be in leadership, you need to be seen, and I've asked people to be in there and either post or um, like comment or help somebody with something that they're asking about, like how many drops are in a bottle of 5ml or whatever the question might be, help people out so people can see you because people need to see you. I remember when I would see um, Kelly Wright and Crystal Birchfield like talking a, a group, like I would always go, oh, that's, that's my people, like those are my peeps. And so um, I was excited about that. And so I tell them, your people are excited about seeing you in there talking and being a part of the team because what you're wanting to do is build community with your with your with your family basically we call it a community but really they're my oily family and um i want people to be seen in there and so out of that those 18 people those are some of the ones that i was i was seeing they were um, at that time in a run doing, um, just showing up every day doing their thing. And that's super important. And so with that, that retreat, um, I brought them in and I looked at them. I said, y'all are running harder than I've ever run before because they were all trying to do it themselves. Um, because when I made it to platinum, um, we were all in one big Facebook group. We were not in 20 different Facebook groups, all this distraction of this system, that system. It was get oils on people, share the oils, you know, have them over to your house and like do a scan, make some hands uh, scrubs, all the things. And I said, every one of you have got your your own thieves class, you have your own babies class, you have your own, you know, pets class. I said, do you see if we all come together and we all come into one community to where we all are working in our own giftings, then people will not have to be so stretched. You won't have to work as hard because you're working harder than I've ever worked before. And they were all like, really? And I see some of them on here tonight. And they would, um, they would say to you, thank goodness, um, Stacy brought that up that night because they automatically went back and shut down their groups. Um, I had Golds go back and shut down their groups and they joined me and locked arms with me and said, wow, I've got so much more of my time back because I'm not doing it all myself. And so they, they flipped their groups into uh, the larger group. And now we all run together. And I tell them, I said, you know, cause life is going to happen. Something is going to, all of a sudden this blue went, oh my gosh, I only have 7% left on my battery. Hang on two seconds. This is not good. Not good. <laughs> Hang on. Wait a minute. I have it right here. Um, see, I'm, I don't look at those things until right then when I saw red going, Beep, 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 hang on two seconds. I'm gonna rip out the diffuser and I'm gonna plug in that. Okay, we're, we're good. My team knows that I don't pay attention to a lot of things. And so that's why I'm, look, I see I'm smiling because they know, oh, that's Stacy. Because like, I 
have certain gifts. They have certain gifts. And that's what um, I'm fixing to talk to you about. We all have different gifts. And that's what I needed them to bring their gifts to the table because I can only do so many things. Like my gift, fun. Guess what? I always have the party lights. We're always going to have a party. We're always going to have a good time. But there's people that um, that's not their forte is to like bring on the music and the party rocker. But I guarantee you there's somebody within your organization that loves to do that and wants to do their part within your organization. And if you jumped in here and you go, I don't have anybody yet within my organization, you will. You just have to, from the beginning, start finding out what their personality is like and find out their giftings. I ask people, what do you like to talk about? Is your gift to pets? Do you have babies? Because I can't relate to somebody that has a brand new baby because I didn't have a baby um, growing up being oily. And now I have mamas that have put oils on their babies from the time they come out of their womb. So I need their giftings within my oily group because somebody's going to resonate with them and they're not going to resonate with me because I'm older and I'm going into the pre menopausal stage, you know, so I'm going to re relate to other people besides the pregnancy ones and all that. So I said, I need you to find your giftings and work within your giftings within our group so we can all come together and help each other out. I absolutely love it. So find the, find different areas that need help within your organization and ask people for help. That's one thing people go, don't ask people for help because they think, oh, you know, I don't want to seem like I'm needy or I guarantee you there's people that want what you have. They, and you don't, you just need to ask because once you start asking, like every month we do a team zoom and we figure out what we're going to do the next month. And like, so for the month of September, we're doing a, a, a month of member appreciation. So we're going to love on our members. I always tell my leaders, I have, we all have a foundation of loyal members because we only have a handful of great leaders. Okay. And that's the ones that are that, that are there with you, rocking it out each and every day to help equip families on um, different suggestions, like you know, um, room sprays or you know, uh, deodorizers for the shower or in the the floor or whatever the scrubs that people make. Like you have somebody within your organization that loves to do DIYs. That is not my gifting. I absolutely love um, going and everybody else figuring out how much I have. Like, okay, so the other night, me and Jackie had um, a gathering here at my house. And every time somebody would go up there to make the sugar scrubs, I'd go, hey, Jackie, because she knew exactly how much to put in there. She knew the whole thing. I just know that, okay, I needed to have all that laid out for them to be able to put in there. Cause you don't want to cook with me because like I cook, don't ask me how many teaspoons go in there. I just shake, 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 you know, this, that, and other. And I know there's some of you that you have to know exactly how many tablespoons, how many, um, it has to be exact and that's totally okay. But I'm telling you, if once you get your team, um, and they all start working in their giftings, you're going to have people that are going to resonate with certain people. And you got to be okay with that um, because you are not the end all be all for everybody. And I told my leaders, I said, when we come together as a team, like when life happens to you, it's going to be okay because let's say you have to take a two weeks off or three weeks or I will say this, I was off for two and a half months because I had brain surgery in 2018. Um, my people knew that I was out for, for brain surgery, but everybody stepped up and they were doing their part. Like nobody missed a beat because there's always somebody doing something and they're seeing people talk all the time in there. Um, there's not a ton of posting going on there every day. I mean, there's new posts every day. I will say that, but not a ton. 
they just need to be in there commenting. And we tag a lot of people within our organization on great things. We don't reinvent the wheel. Um, we, cause we want to have time, um, cause we want to try to find that healthy balance. So you have your family there with you. You have time to be able to do things. Um, there are times that where there's hustle. Gosh, we had that great sale over the weekend. You're hustling over the weekend because we want to, I want to help people get the best deal that they possibly can. I, I was, I'm that coupon person. Like I have this deal on my phone. Um, Tammy Oshesky would tell you this on the time we went um, to Idaho. Like I stopped and I used my app that got me cheaper gas all along the way. Like I'm all about getting the best deal and I want to help my people get the best deal. So it's about um, helping people where they're at, you doing your part, you help looking within your organization and say, hey, who would like to help me out? And I guarantee you there's going to be people that raise their hand that you don't even know about. I know when people come to me and they would go, oh my gosh, I have nobody that'll do this. And I said, are you sure? Did you ask everybody within your organization? And it's not, they're just thinking about one or two people. Um, and so I just want you to know that there's so many things you can do, like fun things that I've, we've done within our organization. Um, I'll say this, um, we do a scavenger hunt within the organization. There's people that love to come up with scavengers hunt. That's not me, but there's people that love to do scavenger hunts. So we tell them to go, um, you know, find out how many loyalty reward points they have. So they, they'll come back and we cheer them on for how many loyalty reward points they have. Like there's all kinds of things that you can do on a scavenger hunt. Um, if, you, if you want to help them to understand the website better, use the website. If you want them to learn things about your oily group um, and how to find things within your oily group, get them to do that scavenger hunt. Um, give things away when they, they do things for you within your team like i don't know i've done I don't know, i'm a giver so like i give things away here and there just for even showing up on a zoom and um connecting with us like i love to connect with people see where they're at um i will say this we're doing that member appreciation coming up um next month um and dirty santa i do that every year um my team absolutely loves Dirty Santa. Um, they know in November that they have to comment on my post about being thankful and ask them what they're thankful for. Like, uh, what's one thing in your family that you're thankful for? Um, so it's not all about oils. It's about getting to know people in their lives, um, taking those extra few moments to uh, learn about them. Uh, my team will tell you this. I will be on a Zoom and I'll go, and who are you? Um, and I'd go, Diane, who are you? I don't know you, you know? And so people would get, because I want to know where they are in my organization um, because they're important to me. They are truly important to me. I want to know them. I want to know about their family. I want to know um, who their upline is because you know what? I want to give that person a shout out because that person is a, an important part of the team because when we all work together, we move really well together. Um, tell me in the chat, like some of the fun things that you've done within your group or your leaders done with you. Um, cause I want people to see the different ideas that, um, other leaders have done this, just not me. There's all kind of fun things that you can be doing out there. And I encourage you to reach out to your silver, your gold, your platinum, your diamond, and grab a hold of them because they want you to help them. The the more hands that work together, there, there's light work. There is a scripture about that. And I am like butchering that scripture. But um, when we work together, it all works out so much better. Um, and I'm coming to basically the end. Does anybody have any questions um, or any comments? Um, I would love to... Um, answer them i want to know what dirty santa is dirty sounds. santa i know <laughs> dirty santa is 
it's a southern thing it's a southern thing (laughs) some people are laughing i see them but it's so fun um it's where i i have a bunch of gifts and um and it can be anything from some of the freebie things that we've gotten or i do a lot about lifestyle i would love to teach people about lifestyle um because we are in the health and wellness industry. Um, so I also teach them about the water they drink, about um, detoxing and all the things like that. So um, I buy a bunch of gifts um, and I put them all in bags and I draw 12 names from the people that have been commenting on the post in November. And out of those 12 names, um, I get them to play. And so I pull a name, that person picks a bag, they open it up. And so then that's their gift. Then number two will open up a bag or a gift, and then they will either keep that gift. No, they can take the first person's gift or they can open a bag. If they open a bag, they have to keep that. And then number three will open up or steal and normally I, since I've been doing this, it's kind of, yeah, somebody, uh, I saw Christy Dempsey just say that it's kind of like the white elephant gift. Like, so I do give one away a, a an aroma complete every year. So that is fun because it gets taken three times, like bam, 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 all in a row. Um, but I do, they, they absolutely love, um, like opening up gifts, stealing the gifts. Um, and it's fun because um, there's leaders that are a part of it and there's brand new people that I absolutely don't know and we get to know them. So it's um, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, is there any, what do you do on a member appreciation? We do a lot of education, but then we also um, ask them, you know, like how long you've been with Young Living, like, and we educate plus also just give away. I try to give away things throughout the day. Um, sometimes we've done it for a whole month. This this year, we're going to do it for a whole day. And we're just going to kind of do it like every hour, every two hours. Um, either somebody's going to go live in there and talk, or they'll do a post and we'll just share information um, with them and just let them know how much we appreciate them being um, with us for, you know, for however long. Because I, I like to ask people like, how long have you been with Young Living? Because I have people within my organization that's even been there longer than I've been there. I've been here nine years and there's people that have been with Young Living more than nine years that um, have just been buying, you know, from here and there, and then they've joined our team in some way, and it's just really fun. Um, and we and we pick from people from the comments and stuff like that. So, and it's not always me. What I love about it, it's the team that uh, we they pick a, an hour that they want to go live or do the post, and they do their part. So. Um, I always encourage people to step up to the plate and do their part because we can't, I I don't want people to feel like it's all on them to make something happen because I, I know in the very beginning, I felt like I had to be all the things and I failed at that miserably because I am not the organizational person. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh somebody please help me. And I always tell people, Hey, if I forgot to send you something or something like that, please let me know. Like, didn't mean to do that, but I definitely want to make sure you get the things that we said that were supposed to come your way. So anything else? Um, how did you get your team so involved? Um, when I started doing the retreats, um, I will tell you, I don't care if you have five people within your organization, if you go, hey, um, y'all want to go on a uh, uh, on a weekend together? I guarantee you they're going to go on a weekend together because I will say this. Um, I have 
uh, Miss Pam Bell that's with them organization. And she just said, I, I want to get all the girls together at the league and let's just have a great time. And oh my gosh, within a matter of minutes, her house filled up and we all, we had people fly in from New Jersey, from South Florida to Alabama. Um, they came in from everywhere. Um, people want to gather, okay? They, they're they tired of being cooped up and they want to get out and have some fun. So um, it's all about helping people. I tell my team all the time, simple and fun will help you in your business, okay? Simple and fun. You have to keep it simple and fun. Um, they don't have to know everything. They don't have to have a lot of details. Now, there are some of you that have to have every detail. And I will say this, Stephanie um, has learned to go, I don't have to know everything because Stacy works in a certain order and it will get done, but it's going to be in a certain order. I see some of my team just laughing because they know that that's not me, but it's okay. It's okay to not, you don't have, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Let your people see that you are not perfect because they know I am not perfect. But I guarantee you, I always tell them all the time, you will have fun. If you don't have fun in you, find a little fun in there. There's something in there. And if you are not that fun person, then please find that person within your organization to help step up and give your, your team some fun because you will definitely... Um, Keep your team together when y'all are having fun together. Anything else? Okay, did I miss anything? Did y'all see anything that stuck out that stuck out in the chat? It's flying by. Okay. Well. I'm going to leave you, well, you could definitely do this. If you, did somebody say something? Wait, what is a customer wellness event? Um, you so much for an amazing presentation. Um, okay, hang on, let me back up. Do you charge anything for your retreats or you cover them myself? Um, since I'm able to afford them now, um, I cover them myself. But I will say in the very beginning, they paid for them. Um, when we did Silvers in the Sand, um, me and Jackie did it together. Gosh, was it 2013 or 14, Jackie, that we did that? Um, everybody had to pay um, to come to those events. So your people will pay to come to your events. Um, but for me, I pay for them to come and I give them, um, five-star treatment, uh, when they come just because, uh, I feel like I've been blessed to be a blessing to others. Um, and so when I turn around and bless others, it's okay. They pay for their own, yeah, they pay for their own airfare. They just have to get to wherever I am. Um, what is your five-star treatment? Um, well, they, I hire a chef and they come in and they cook all organic all weekend long. I don't touch a dish. They don't touch a dish. We get up and sit around in our jammies all day long, go by the pool. Um, and I tell people, I, this is what I tell them, I say, I did my, my giftings is gathering people and getting people together. Now I need you to do what you do. And so my, the people that love to teach, they teach like Stephanie will step up and she'll teach the comp plan. Cause she absolutely knows all those numbers and all that kind of good stuff. And Stacey Vincent will jump in there and she'll teach about life steps. Cause she absolutely like life steps and that's her baby. So they step up and do their thing. I did what I do best is gathering people and then they do their giftings. We work as a team. I don't try to run them. I always tell them they do them in the larger groups when they um, come in and start um, doing their thing. I let them be them. I do not control them. Um, it's all about um, them being them. And sometimes I don't like sometimes when somebody might say something in there, but you know what? 
I always say, you know what? God uh, wanted them to say that because that was on their heart to put out there. And who am I to say that that's not what needs to be put out there? They do know that um, I don't, they do know that one, I really don't like negativity in there. And then the second thing is, is that I, I won't stop post to be approved in there because I always want to help that mama at 2 a.m. that uh, might need some help um, on knowing if lavender is okay to put on their baby. I want somebody to be able to help them and guide them to where they can find that information really quick. Um, those are the two things that are my biggest things. Other than that, they are themselves because I want them to be the leader that God called them to be because I'm going to show up and be the leader that God's called me to be. And I want them to show up as their leader that God wants them to be. So what do you think is the best thing you did to bring out leaders? Um, that's a great question. I gathered them together at a retreat and the retreat doesn't have to be at the beach. It could be in your home. Like if you have extra bedrooms or whatever, or just a night out at a, um, at a restaurant, anything. It is to gather your people, find who all, who is all in with you and on the same page with you that think like you. Um, cause there's people within your organization that does not have the same energy as you. That's okay. It's okay for if they don't want to be a part of your larger organization and they want to do it them all themselves. I have people like that. I'm totally okay with that. We're independent business owners and we can do that. But I guarantee you the ones that have jumped on the train of our Willie group is called the limelight. We um, all work together and they have come back to say, I have more time with my family because of I'm not having to do it all myself. I'm able to do X, Y, Z. I'm able to do my own giftings because I'm not having to show up and do it all by myself. So um, it's just been really great. So I see some of my leaders telling you all, all the fun stuff they're, they're doing. I have amazing, amazing leaders. Anything else? Our face gives to everyone. Yeah. What games do you do in your Facebook group? Um, gosh, okay, what games? I haven't played a game in a long time. Can somebody think of a game that we've played here recently? Um, I don't know. It helps. Oh, favorite oily gifts. Yep, that's... We do all kind of like things. Oh, I've done this. Um, have you asked? I've done like a post saying, hey, where's all the quiet people that have never said anything in here? And people will say, I'm here. And you'll like, like 900 people will comment and go, I'm here. And you go, good grief. There's more people looking at this stuff than I thought there was, you know, not looking. I mean, there was more people looking than I thought because you just kind of go, who's doing this so it's just been it's amazing just talk talk to your peeps i mean it's all the time doing fun things with them anything else saturday night selfies yeah and at one point we did the days of the weeks like um what did we do for Mondays? We did Testimony Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Thankful Thursday. I know it was uh, Fitness Friday, so we could talk about fitness on those days. Saturdays, we did uh, Selfie Saturdays, like Manly Monday. Yep, that's right. Um, so we did something to always engage um, so we can talk to people so they can... Um, I love, I love when doing selfies with people because I want to see their people's face. Um, I think it's just important to connect with your team, like for people to see you, to be out there so you can love on them and they can see who you are and basically come into your home and go, okay, she is a real person. I am a real pe person. My, my people know I'm a real person. Like 
I am who I am here and there. <laughs> a lot of them see me without no makeup on. Like I am, I'm the unorganized person and I need the people to keep me organized. Um, and um, we, I, I always say this, we are better together. We are better together. They, they've heard me say that over and over and over to where they believe it. They believe that we are better together and we are better together. We all win. We all win because we always, we're going to rise together. And it's uh, amazing when you see people lifting other people up and that ship is rising together. Um, so I see so many beautiful faces on here tonight. I see a, a lot of my great leaders and crossline friends that I absolutely have loved and come to know over the years. And um, y'all, I am so excited about Young Living's future. You just don't know. Um, I was excited about um, Dan Purser being on stage at convention. And um, I loved it when he said, where's Danette Goodyear? Like, um, Danette, is our future looking bright in Young Living? And she was like, yep. And I'm excited about what Dan Purser is going to be bringing to Young Living um, because, again, we're going to be rising together and it's going to be super exciting. Um, so I just want y'all to know that it's going to be an amazing ride. Um, you know, when you see a lot of things coming at Young Living, I always say, hmm, things are fixing to get good around here because you know, even things and when things go wrong in our marriage or, you know, I've lost this, that, and the other or whatever, something's going on with the kids. You kind of go, gosh, Satan's coming after me and boy, something's good around the corner is happening. And so I'm excited about what's good around our corner. And um, I'm going to leave you with these two quotes tonight from Gary. It says, no matter where you go, our job is to impact people and make their lives better. Gary Young. And his other quote I love is, in my opinion, you are the chosen ones. Friends, you are the chosen ones to go out and change the world through Young Living. If you're on here tonight, you're here for a reason. You feel it in your bones that you have something in your hands that only God could have given you and that you are to go out and share it with the world. We are better together and I'm super excited about our future and um, what we can do. And so let me find my other song so then we can sing it and play it together. Because we are family. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for letting me be here tonight. Let's dance it on out. Hang on, what happened? so much and that's another thing get your team to dance with you i got my people that don't dance now they dance because they know that's a requirement when they're with me you have to dance with stacy mcquade so anyway i love y'all so much thank you kim and danette for having me on tonight night thank you so much <laughs>